A simple integration is just going to pull data from a data source, transform or reshape it, and send it across to its destination. I'll show you an example of how you can pull contact information out of a SQL database, reshape that, and then upload that into Salesforce as a set of contacts. On the design canvas, I'll begin by adding SQL query. I've pre-configured a connection for this, and I'll provide some query text, namely just returning 10 rows out of the contacts table. If I execute that, you can see the results coming back in the activity logs. And this is a tabular presentation of those 10 contacts. Now, I want to send that data across to Salesforce. So I'll add the Salesforce connector, select a connection, and then go into the Choose Samples area to get a list of all of the interactions supported by Salesforce. There are about 2,000 here, and I'm interested in the one called Create Contact. When I select that, Flogio will load up a list of all of the fields that belong to the contact record inside Salesforce, specifically for my Salesforce organization. If I drill into that, you can now see on the left-hand side a specimen payload of those fields, and on the right-hand side is a tree view representing the structure of that document. The last step now is to put a quick map into the middle over here to manipulate the data from source into the target. I'll connect from result, in other words, the output of the first stage, into the source property, and then from the result of quick map into the request for the next stage. So these flow connectors are showing how data is going to move between these stages. When I drill into the mapping now, it loads up a sample schema that it's inferred from the data set that we got back out of SQL on the left-hand side, and then this third column is showing me the structure for Salesforce. Now I can begin to correlate fields with each other. For example, a table becomes a contact element on the right-hand side, and then I can correlate different fields across as well. As I do that, it generates a real-time preview of the data on the right-hand side. This fourth column over here allows me to manipulate the data. For example, if I wanted to uppercase the field, I could use an upper function very similar to Microsoft Excel. I'll OK these changes. And finally, I need to connect up an execution flow along the top to show Flogia the sequence in which I would like it to process these operations. I'll hit the play button, and the activity logs begin to present the data as it's integrating. If I have a look at the Salesforce entry, at the bottom on the right over here, I can drill into the response property coming back from Salesforce, and this is showing me the IDs of the contacts that have been generated inside Salesforce.